Okay, this is the hydraulic system of the dragster. Everything you see on this side is repeated on the other side. So what you're seeing is only half of what makes this ride run. <laughs> this is based on a nitrogen accumulator system. You'll see right in front, you'll see it has the nit danger nitrogen and BSD. That is an accumulator, a piston accumulator. Down in the pit is two large 500 horsepower motors that fill this accumulator. It takes about 45, 50 seconds to fill this accumulator. When the ride's ready to launch, all the safety systems engage. And at the end of this accumulator, there's two very large cartridge valves that open, setting the oil up all these hoses up to the 32 hydraulic motors. It takes about, well, three and a half to four seconds to empty it and about 45 seconds to fill. Hmm. Um, it runs at about 300 bar, plus or minus a little bit. So, and what you see up there, you see the 32 red hydraulic motors, and then... Okay, and you see the beige uh, piece of steel that the motors are attached to? That is a gearbox. That's what brings all 30, 16 motors on this side together to the shaft that drives the drum that the cables are attached to. At top speed, that drum does 540 RPM. It's almost seven feet in diameter. So that's, it's quite impressive when this thing goes ahead and launches. And then once, then once it's launched, there's a separate reversing motor that goes ahead and kicks in and brings the catch car back to the home position. And everything starts again. Anybody have any quick questions? You say you got two 500 horsepower motors. Is that 1,000 horse to get the thing up the, up the hill or a little less than that? Okay. Okay, any questions about the 500 horse, horse, horsepower motors? There's actually two on this side and two also on the other side. So there's four 2000. 500 horsepower motors, and all those are for is to fill the accumulator. Okay. And then once the accumulator opens, the uh, motors do provide a little extra oil, but most of the work's done by the oil that's stored in the accumulators under pressure. So yeah, it's about 2,000 horsepower to fill. We estimate it's somewhere between 10 and 15,000 horsepower when this thing actually launches. Anybody else have any other quick questions? Have you blown a hydraulic line yet? What's that? I'll explain that. What was another question? Have you blown a hydraulic line yet? This year? Not yet. <laughs> In the past. It, 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 a couple of questions. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, a couple of questions. He just asked if we ever blow a hydraulic line. Yes. It's hydraulics, hydraulic lines do always let go every now and then. Um, but yeah, it's definitely, and the other question was is, is there a lot of off-season maintenance on this ride? Yes, there is extremely large off-season maintenance on this ride. We actually have two guys presently working on the other side, uh, doing a little bit of work trying to get it ready for this upcoming season. Okay, the other question is, they want to know what temperature is in this room during the summer. Uh, we have four extremely large air conditioners to keep this room cool. We try to keep it around 72 to 74 degrees. Other than that, that's, it gets a little too hot and then the system decides to shut down because the pressure is too high. This ride breaks down a lot. I mean, is it usually <laughs> the same thing or something different every time? Like There's a few problems question about the downtime on this ride. Um, it's, there's a few things that are recurring issues on this ride, but it's a lot of times it's something new, something different. Um, obviously there's uh, 400 moving brakes on this ride. 
Every one of those brakes that you see going up and down is the right launches, has two separate sensors, and they're out in the weather all the time. So there's 800 sensors that can fail, and that, that is a common one. Yes? How many gallons of hydraulic fluid is it touching? Okay, this question was how many gallons of hydraulic fluid? It's about 4,000 gallons, about 1,000 gallons per tank, and there's four tanks. There's two tanks on this side, two tanks on the other side. Questions? I have one. Yes. Sorry. Okay. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. With the rollbacks that occur in the morning, is that a pressure issue or is that a cold track or it's in the morning when it out? Sometimes it's on purpose. <laughs> okay, the question was is about the rollbacks we have in the morning. When the system fires up in the morning, the computer's got to adjust itself for the weather conditions and everything. So it will roll back a few times in the morning just as it's getting used to the weather conditions. And that's not an abnormal thing. It's actually designed for doing that. But it's just, it's a self-adjusting computer system so that it wants to go over the top at a certain time. And it's just adjusting itself to that. So if it adjusts itself a little too much, it'll roll back from time to time. Okay, talk to me a little bit about boost mode. Boost mode? Boost mode and what it does and all that sort of stuff. Okay. I was just going to ask, uh, on the cars sometimes, we came on opening day last year and they said the wind was keeping them from going over. Is that true that the wind speed's so high up there that it does keep them from yeah. going over? Mm -hmm. Okay, one question was about wind speed. Um, the computer itself, there's a wind meter at the very top of the right and programmed in the computer is a mile per hour on the winds in which it will not let the system run. So that's actually part of the safety system. I'm sorry, what was the question? Just boot mode. Like boost mode. Oh, okay. the panel and what it does and where some of the brakes. Okay, and the other question was about the control <laughs> system. There is a boost mode we have for this that is only for empty trains. That is never to be used with people. And it's just to get the ride running in the morning or if we've had an extended shutdown to get the trains going over the mm. top. But yeah, that's that's only for uh, bringing the ride back up to running. Yeah, quick time for one more question and we've got to go. Okay. What's the fastest that it can go in the boost mode? Like, um, okay. And there's there one question over here, real quick. Um, the lights can pop. The one can light pop. Yes. How do you change them? Um, <laughs> How do you change them? Yeah, every couple of years, we have to change them out. But. Okay. The question was about the boost mode. How fast does it go? All that does is it reduces it. Um, it does not make the ride go any faster than it could normally operate on a cold day anyway. So it's not like it goes any faster than it can to normal operating. It just brings it down to a speed where we know it'll make it over. And the other question was about the lights on the lift, the aviation lights, and how often they get changed. It's usually every couple of years we have to go up there and change them. The top strobe is not working. Yes. Uh, for months. <laughs> FAA knows about it, and the problem is the elevator's broken. So, <laughs> he's coming in to fix the other thing on his ride brakes. Good old Linton.